Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and today I'm going to talk about a Firefox add-on that I find very, very useful called Grease Monkey. Yes, I said that right. Grease Monkey. Grease Monkey allows you to customize the way a web page displays using small bits of JavaScript. Now, what does that mean? That means that you can install these scripts that the community develops in order to change a way a web page operates and looks from your point of view so nothing happens on the server side but you can manipulate your pages how you want them to look on the client side and I have some examples here that I'm going to explain but first off make sure you're using Firefox of course and go to addons.mozilla.com and search for Grease Monkey if you want to install it and there's an add to Firefox button here once you do that, you'll have a new menu in your tools in the tools menu called Grease Monkey, and from here you can enable or manage user scripts, which pops open a new window here and tells you which scripts you have open. Also, in the bottom right, you'll see a little monkey icon that you can enable and disable simply by clicking the monkey icon, and he'll turn gray. I'll show you that in a little bit. So here's a list of the scripts that I have available and these are all downloadable at userscripts.org so I highly recommend you go there if you want to get Grease Monkey scripts. The first one is called Google Reader plus Twitter. This allows me to tweet stories directly from Google Reader if I want to if I want to share them with people. I also have YouTube prevent autoplay. You know, you ever go to a YouTube page and the video automatically plays. That sometimes that can get annoying, especially if you just want to read comments or you don't want the video to automatically play. So you can prevent that by installing this script. Download YouTube's videos as MP4. I talked about this on a previous video, but this Grease Monkey script just puts the link there for you automatically. I also have some friend feed scripts which I'm going to show you as well. So you can enable or disable these scripts by clicking on their name within here and then click enable or disable here and it grays it out if you click enable and disable so I can enable it here as well the entire grease monkey interface see how the monkey monkey off monkey on monkey off monkey on sad monkey happy monkey sad okay I need to stop that alright so <laughs> let's go ahead to show you what it looks like I'm gonna go to my Google Reader here and uh ooh look there's a story it says more iPhone 3G pictures leaked. Yeah, it looks fake to me. So if I want to share this with Twitter, look, there's a new link here called share with Twitter. If I click that, it'll pop open a box and I can share that with everybody on Twitter and say, "Hey everybody, you look at this fake picture from from iPhone this 3G iPhone that's fake and stuff." Next is friend feed. There's a bunch of friend feed stuff you can add. Most notably, I have two that I like. The first one is called filter friends or group of friends. So I can filter all of my friend feed by uh, friends or groups of people. And I have two groups set up already. I have a group called IRC. These are all the friends that I've met on IRC. And when I select that, it refreshes friend feed and only shows me those people that I defined in that group. I also have a group called A-listers. And when I select that, it only shows me those A-listers. There's Rafe Needleman, Robert Scoble, Loic Demure, Thomas Hawk, and Robert Scoble. So these are all the big names, and these are all filters. I also have a Grease Monkey script called, let's go back to the home page, which is Sticky Search. So I can use the search feature in friend feed to search for certain terms and save that here and whenever there is a new term it updates it with a number count next to it so if I click on iPhone links this particular friend feed search will search all of friend feed Google Reader shared links for the term iPhone so I can see all the iPhone links here and it, uh, it again it notifies me whenever there's a new a new entry and I also search for my name which kinda shows me everything that I've done but at the same time it shows me who's talking about me on friend feed so it's sort of an ego search so those are two popular ones I also have one called show 
uh, show domain name. So here's a link here, and it gives you in parentheses the domain name that that link is going to. So that's pretty handy. So these are all little enhancements that are great. And finally, on YouTube, I can see how I loaded this page, and it has a little play icon there. No, most times when you go to a YouTube page, the video plays automatically. This prevents that from happening. And also to the right here, here's that, that one I was telling you about. Download as MP4. I don't have to use a bookmarklet or anything. If the video supports MP4, if it has an MP4 format, that link will automatically show up. I can right click, save as, and save that video locally. Now again, all of these scripts are over at userscripts.org. There's a ton of Grease Monkey scripts out there if you use Firefox there is no reason why you shouldn't have Grease Monkey on your system it is powerful gives you all kinds of little scripts to enhance your web browsing experience so before I go it's just sad monkey happy monkey sad monkey happy monkey <laughs> alright this is Buona from Buona.tv and uh, this is Grease Monkey for Firefox and enjoy <laughs>